it's a new month. That means it's a new monthly account update. As usual, we have lots of lab characters just sitting in the lab all day. If we check out the lab, nothing has changed really. I could probably take out one more character. Let's actually try that right now. If we remove you, if we put you back, can you cover everything? No, you cannot. Oh well, I will look at that later. So we have one, two, three, four, five, eight characters in the lab. Beacon Axe is now 65. Ten more levels until he's maxed out. Bookstaff, he actually got a dice dynamo trophy now. I don't know how he did it, but he managed to get the number one. One in 9875. Not bad. One weapon power, five luck, and two percent luck. So it's pretty useless. But he is now level 200. He has made his way to the last zone in World 4. No, actually, there's one more. The Stilted uh, Seekers, I think they are called. The Hammers with the boss. But this one gets tons of XPs, so I don't mind him sitting here for quite some time. While Pick an Axe is in the lab, Mr. Baba Papa is now my new main. He is a barbarian. I prefer the barbarian class to the, the upgraded class. I forgot on the name, but yeah. <laughs> I'm saving this upgrade for the next elite class. I want to see what it is. I've been trying really hard to get this Snell B to unlock, but man, it refuses. I've been saving up for like platinum and gold eggs to have like one in 46 chance, but the stupid Snell B refuses. I got a 45k Snell B here. I haven't done any arena stuff like that in ages. I'm gonna try to, you know, upgrade my fighting team and then do some arena stuff like that. Got a 26k. Wait, what? Oh no, I got scammed. The sheep is a sniper now. Oh shit. He was a shield unit before. Defender. I had a 10k defender. Oh no. Well, oh well, who cares? One defender is good enough, maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, having two defenders is pretty OP. I guess that's why he changed it. I finally unlocked the overwhelmed golden egg. Your new pet chance is multiplied for every 100 kitchen upgrade levels across all kitchens. So 200 levels would apply twice. Hmm. Well, that's really useful. I need to unlock these things. I've just been maxing out on my old food. I haven't unlocked anything new in a long, long time. Mainly because I have nothing to unlock, you know. Because I haven't been doing the process for the new spices. I will do that one day. I'm not in a super hurry for it. Even though it's time based and you should really hurry to do it. But oh well. Here in the construction, things are going pretty good. We maxed out the storm color. Well, that's about it really. But the towers are getting better and better. As are the shrines. I'm just slowly replacing all the lower XP cogs with new ones. I want to get a full purple board here so I can finally get that achievement. It's pretty much luck based if you get something good or not, which I pretty much never do. Pretty high level now. 217 on the highest one. Around 170 for the rest. Here are the kills by world. We have 3 million green mushrooms now. Could use quite a bit more. We have 4 million globlin. And the green mushrooms are pretty damn important. It gives me money. Here's world 2. I don't really spend much time in world 2 anymore outside of town and um, Mimic Zone for Colosseum. 9 million ram kills. Bookstaff killed like 3 million rams and got zero of the rings. That was not so fun. He's using lab rings right now. I guess he would go back to the lab soon anyway, but yeah. And here are pretty high kill numbers. 19 million purple mushrooms, 22 million TVs, 16 million Flom Beach. Pretty impressive. What is not so impressive are these numbers. Very old, before World 4 came out. 169 fishes, 124 Luffy things. It was like when he first reached World 3. I think he was naked and stuff like that. Because he was doing his naked run. I think he was naked still, or maybe I put some gear on him. Well, it doesn't matter. 661 grind time. Slowly but surely it's going up. We're trying to unlock the dream catcher in the sigils. And also the trove for more drop rate and the pea pod for higher charge rate. It is so absurdly slow. Oh, we can level up these guys. We can max out these cauldrons for more region speed, I guess. 100 is max. 
and 80 capacity. 1,997 boxes earned. It's very slow to do this legally. Lots of people abuse that old bug pretty much. We got the streaks over 100. And then they got really, really cheap to do. So you could spam pens all day. I have lots of obol fragments on the other hand. Nothing really worth upgrading. I got a lot of Shizwars obols now. I think this guy got two. Chicken Axe got two. The family got two. And Alchemy Before Magic has two, I think. And Bookstaff might have one. I have almost maxed out the uh, Chaotic Shizwar. That's where I'm getting them from. And I got this from a card pack, thanks to Idle Skilling. Otherwise, I've only killed him one time. Speaking of Idle Skilling, I have reached the mountain, which is the second code to get. It's slow progress because I'm not really active at it. Just log in every now and then. This guy have a few more zones until he has reached the end. Then I think I'm going to let him level up a bit and then maybe get swing block a bit higher. He used to be my main, highest level, now he's the lowest. Other than that, I'm not sure what to say. Not really much progress. I'm slacking on everything. So what I'm pretty much slacking off on is cooking, breeding, tower defense, and trapping as well. I haven't updated my traps in ages. I haven't upgraded them either. I haven't updated my 3D printer either. Oh well, I think that's it for this video. It is October 6th right now, so missed it by a few days. But yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.